First of all, we want to find our natural path of motion so we know we're curling in the right direction and not injuring our forearms and wrists. I want you to stand with your palms facing backward and just naturally turn your hand. That's how you know your natural path of motion and how you know where to hold the bar. So you grab it right there, hold it nice and tight, thumb on the other side, wrist nice and straight. You're not going to move it throughout the set. Shoulders are back and down as usual. Hip, knee, ankle all lined up. She's looking straight. We're going to kill the bicep right now. Time to get in shape. Go ahead, curl up. You want to breathe in on the way down. Go all the way down, but you don't want to go until your arm locks. Usually you could touch your thigh. No problem, your arm isn't locking. It's right before locking. And then come up and squeeze that bicep. She's looking straight. She's not waddling back and forth. Knees are slightly bent and locked. They're just not moving around. Look at her arm, it's not swaying back and forth. The minute you start swaying, the front of your shoulder works, your lower back could get injured, we don't want that. Everything is like a piece of metal, solid, not moving. The only thing that's moving, if you look at her, is her elbow, and she's coming up and squeezing that bicep. 